this is how it looks, and this is what it becomes. Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're in the Smiley Critters RP, and yes, as you can see, we are here with so many different people from our crew. In fact, some strangers are looking at us in the windows looking kind of a little bit creepy, if I'm honest with you, but we've got something really exciting, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, which is we've had another leak on what's being released in the next update, so you will probably recognize this building down here, and if I get everyone to jump with me, you will see in person that this building in particular has been saying opening soon for like literally ever. I kid you not, it literally has not been open in a while, and to be honest, with some trickery, I can go through the building, but it doesn't really help us with what's meant to be in here, because as you can see, it is just an empty box. So, you're probably asking me at this point, what does this got to do with it? Well, actually, it's quite exciting, and I have two other games which can reference what this building potentially is going to turn into, but this relates to what's meant to happen in the next update. So, clearly, we've had Cartoon Catnap as of recent version 2, and as you are fully aware, we're getting a revamp for Dog Day, so you get all those really cool and detailed expressions, which are going to be super awesome. There is slightly more. Not only are we going to get this, a new building, we're meant to actually get some subtle hints of what the uh, big, humongous update is going to be by the sky and some other subtle changes. So I haven't been told too much, but hopefully we will find out pretty quickly when this update comes out in hopefully the next week. I know, it probably seems like ages, but honestly, it won't take too long. So... Let's go to the first game to see what this building's about to become. And just like this, we are now all in this next game. So this is one I haven't actually recorded yet in the video, but I definitely checked it out because this bit in particular has it's caught my attention. It's pretty cool in the way that you can see these buildings. So if I zoom all the way out, this will look familiar, right? Especially if you've played Poppy Playtime or seen any cutscenes or any video footage. You've got the different buildings in like the main hub area and you'll notice you've got the dog day's house, you've got the playhouse, the school, and this one over here. Now I'm going to highlight this one that they've called the shelter and honestly it's not a shelter. I believe it to be the orphanage so that's why I'm going to reference it at. If I've got it wrong, do let me know in the comments below and annoyingly, why can't I run any faster? This is crazy. Wait, hang on. How are people teleporting? There's a massive button that says teleport. You stupid. And uh, <laughs> I'm literally like four feet away from it and I still teleported. As I was going with these buildings, Every one of these buildings that you can see, the person that's made this particular, well, version of the game has allowed you to go inside each of them. Yes, yes you can. And this gives us an opportunity to explore. Wow, uh, yeah. have you seen how long this corridor is? This building's huge. This is not what I was expecting. So I don't know if you can go in any of these doors or what to expect, but the reason we are looking at this is because that building uh, that we found in the Smiling Critters RP looks nothing like this at the moment, right? Well, from the screenshots that I've seen, it looks very familiar to this, but I've also got another game after this, which has a similar building, but it's not the orphanage. I can see, is this supposed to be the Huggy? Oh, Nightmare Huggy Hallway. I think you might be right, Galaxy. I'll tell you what is a nightmare right now, is the fact we can't seem to- Um, you know what? What is the point of this place? If I can't open a door- Ooh, three points. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's almost made it better. But nah, honestly, I was expecting a little bit more from this building. But the key feature to take on is what the building looked like, which is the orphanage. And to, you know, prevent us losing our mind in this game, let's head into the next one to see what that looks like before we head back to the Smiling Critters RP. And I can show you some screenshots and some pictures and images that I've got which shows you what it's going to look like from the outside. And honestly, it is definitely worth waiting to see those because it brings everything together really nicely. So let's go on to the next one. And just like that, we're into the third game. And I can see Hugo is saying, where's my grandma? I mean, okay, if you've watched the Easter video that we did recently, where you can do the Easter egg hunt to unlock these adorable looking, well, smiling critters, which is like the Easter egg version of them you'll realize that one of them you had to go to a graveyard and uh, yeah, apparently Hugo's grandma was there and Quackers was rudely dancing on her grave. I mean, that is dang right rude. And fortunately, we managed to tell him off, so it's not a problem. But 
Heading back into this game, what you want to do is to teleport into the play care. And once you get there, it looks like a much better version of what we were in in that other game. Because not only is the lighting nice, the statues are like spot on and really well detailed. And the sun coming through wow. is so beautiful. As Nubi is saying, it's fresh air. Yes, it is. And this building here is still the reference we want. I don't think we can get into it in this game, which is a bit of a shame. I want you to kind of picture this building, if I can get a decent camera angle of it, uh, just so when we reference the image, you can like make up your mind and let me know in the comments below if you think it looks anything like this. So I can see that everyone is using it at the moment as a bit of a climbing frame, or at least mainly Quackers. Crazy Quackers has made it to the top, almost on top of the chimney, which is like the highest point of that building, in fact. I think that's almost the highest point of all the buildings. So, really? Oh, I saw you. You've, you almost didn't make it. Wait, ah, uh, ah. Uh, like, can I get up here? Is this going to let me up here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep. We'll jump in, we'll jump in. Um, we're failing, but we are... Ah! Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, Quackers, Quackers, come here. Yeah, let me just... Uh, no, let me jump in your head. Ah, Quackers! Ah! Fine, whatever. Quackers made it up there. And now he's, he's, he's taunting me by dancing. That's just rude! I've shown you what I wanted to do with this, and that is this house just here, and obviously how wonderful this game actually is. If you haven't played it, definitely give it a try. I'll put the links for these games in the description below if you want to check them out. Remember this building, and the same on the last one. Let's head back to the Smiling Critters RP, because there's a lot more to show you. Back into the original game, the Smiling Critters RP. We are flooded by all the characters. Catnaps in the world. We've got Nightmare Catnap, Normal Catnap. We've got, well, Evil Catnap, I think that is. I don't even know. There's just so many catnaps at this point. We've got Heretic Dog Day, the odd one out. But heading back to this building over here, this is how it looks, and this is what it becomes. So as you can see right now on the screen, you have a picture of this beautiful looking new building from the angle we've got about here. As you can see, at this point in time, we've got a tiny little thing with opening soon. This thing is pretty big. Now, I've obviously shown you the other ones of like the orphanage building and stuff like that, or the shelter, I think it's called as well in the other game. But it looks like it kind of resembles that, even though it's got the massive sign that says shop on the top, which is pretty cool because that means I think we actually effectively have more reasons to spend all the coins, which remember, guys, if you join me in a public game and play a bit of hide and seek, well, you might just win a whole yes, bunch yes, of coins. Yes. We've got another picture here from like an angle up here, which I think is about this angle. And yeah, the building is huge. Honestly, it's going to be massive and I'm totally looking forward to it. But also, we have the cartoon dog day to look forward to. And uh, you know about that cartoon hoppy kind of character? Yeah, yeah, you know that one? Well, that is coming out in the update after, which will follow very shortly. By that, I mean we're getting a small update with this new building and Dog Day. And then after that, we've got the massive one, which literally is going to have so much to explore. Because you've got the space station and space. You've got the school. You've got the play test area, I think it's called. I can't remember the exact name. And a whole bunch of new morphs, which may include... I'm expecting Mummy Longlegs to be there. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And if you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button. Subscribe if you've done so. It's super appreciated. And we will catch you in the next video. Remember to boot the snoop. Bye!